over there right now. I'm asking him and doodling around. Alright, the year was 2018. Uh, it was May 28th, I think. And um, I was with my friend Jan, who moved back to Poland a couple months ago. So I miss you, buddy. And a girl who will not be named. Now, the girl she's, who will not be named. She's in the... She's, she's a subscriber. In, she's yeah, a subscriber. And she's in the comments. We're not going yeah, to... Yeah, it's totally quiet, be quiet. Anyways, um, uh, I was trying to impress the girl who will not be named. Uh, cause she, we live in the same you neighborhood. Likey, likey. Be quiet. Anyway, we live in the same neighborhood, so I was trying to impress her. Didn't go so well. I climbed all the way up this huge tree. And I was going out on a branch, standing fully up, and my hands were on an upper branch, so my whole body was like this. And the branch under me snapped, and I lost my grip on the upper branch. Oh, And I God. fell and hit my head. Like, it was, from my view, it probably wasn't, but it looked like it was 40 feet up from my view. And it was like I was falling in slow motion. I was like, and then everything went fast again. And boom, hit my head right on a root. And, um... Uh, I it like my eyesight went black and then a bright white for a second, and then I woke. I I I opened my eyes, and so the girl who will not be named. So technically, you may have been knocked out. Probably wasn't. No, you no. If it went black, me probably. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, you might have been knocked out for like ten minutes. You don't know because. No, nah, they definitely would have told me. Anyways, back to the story. The girl who will not be named and Jan came rushing and they were like, Oh my gosh, Darren, are you okay? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine right now. Um, I, I really wanted to cry because I was in fifth grade, uh, like 11 years old, and I just fell out of a tree, but I didn't because the girl who will not be named was there. So And that would have been so Yeah, that would have been so embarrassing, so I just held it in like a man. And uh, my friend Jan, his parents called him and he went over there. And um, I got up, and the girl who will not be named said, saw. Oh my she god. saw the left side of my head and said, "Oh my god, Darren, your head is bleeding." I felt my head, and there was just it was red when I got when I when I pulled my fingers away. It was red. It was the scariest moment of my life. Nah, probably not, but it was pretty scary. And um, I went to the office. Like the office of uh, uh, of our neighborhood because we lived in an apartment complex at the time, with my friend Jan because he had come back, and my, well, the girl who will not be named, <laughs> the girl who won't be named, went home, and yeah, um, me and my friend sorry, and me sorry, and my guys. friend Jan went to the office and we cleaned me up, and do you see this bump in my wrist? Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was on the other see, side. I, I don't think they can. Arch. Yeah, they can. But do it. It like was. This. It was on the other side, yeah, right this there. Yeah, bump on his wrist. And, uh, it was on it's a bone. And he had to do, like, chabank. I had, I had to do this to get it back into place. I just did it real quick, short and sweet. <laughs> Good thing the girl who won't be named wasn't there because the tears just started rolling down. Anyways, that's my story time. It's Charlie's turn now. It's Charlie's turn. Yes, it is. Ugh. All right, Charlie, what do you got for so. us? It was one time. This was like last year, I believe. Mm. Maybe the year before that. No idea. Um, so me and my, I was in, I was running down the sidewalk, and I gave him a high five. And all the way there, his shoe accidentally tripped me, and I just went flying. Like this is a real story, and I just went flying mm. into the dirt, flying. Like, say like, I was about this like real quick. Take a I was Whoa. So like show them this. I was like that high mirror just flying. Mm. And I landed on my kneecap and I was knocked out for maybe five and then I woke and I wake up and my kneecap is just red. I think I remember seeing that, that uh wound on your knee actually. I think I, I think I might I think that might have been last year. I think you actually may have seen that. Yeah. I, oh, oh, gosh. Yeah, that, remember that giant wind? Yeah, I, I saw that. I definitely saw it that. It was just, all, and it was both kneecaps. This one didn't have a wound because it healed really fast. But as I wake up, I'm like, 
and I look, and I like I'm not just screaming because of pain. It, I, it really like so like so you guys know how like when you get hurt, it's like it hurts so bad you just don't feel it. That's what happened to me. I woke up and I just screamed not because of pain, but because I'm just screaming because uh. I'm so scared. Like both of my kneecaps are just red and it's just, like gushing, just gushing blood. And so and I was and I and then I fell down and like I fell down in a ditch. That's a problem. Uh. I fell down in a dust. A, a, <laughs> I fell down in a ditch that had like and it was like. 10 feet deep, so technically, I fell, like, 20 feet, because this is, like, what, maybe, mm. maybe you know what, maybe, Eight, like, 10 feet up, like, we're about, like, maybe 10 feet up, yeah. so we're not very, we're not, not very high, yeah. so, and, so, yeah, it's about, maybe, 15, 20 feet of a drop, and I just, I felt like for a second I was gonna land it like on my vacant. I felt like I was Superman for a second. But when I woke up, I'm like, I'm telling, I'm not lying. This is a very true story. So, yeah, so, whoa, wow, we're gonna be telling stories for a long time. <laughs> so, alright, and. Twins, are, you know what? I'm just gonna get to it. They're, <laughs> they're buried. Okay. Go. Darren is going down the hill. Hope he doesn't fall. Oh, He's going down the hill, speeding like a speed bird. He's trying to flap his wings down there. Where'd he go? Oh, wipe out! Out. The biggest. Dude, your face! Your face is! Go! Go! Darren's running and kind of being... Go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, all right, it's still recording. So I'm gonna do it myself. Three, two, one, and go. <laughs> Charlie, we lost. We almost lost you in the fly. Ah, Charlie, Charlie, no. Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> no! Oh, he's alive. Come on. Let's go. Alright, so what we're going to be technically doing is uh, kind of just... Uh, we're going to show us going down and then yes. we're going to show you the hill after. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna be going down. It's like this first. Then we're gonna come back up and then go down like where you guys can see. Alright, enough talk. Oh, oh. Press the gas. Oh.
Oh my god. Um, let me, let, I'm gonna tell you guys something. So, since you guys are on, like, watching this for, like, on TV or a, some, I don't Phone, know. computer. Yeah, whatever. anything. It's not gonna look that, we are actually, cause Dan's gonna be, this guy, point into your face. They know who I am. This guy is going to be pushing us. Trust me. I'm gonna jump on the back at the yeah, end. Yeah, and I really hope the phone doesn't fall. Cause, and all right, and so yeah, all right. Hey, dude. All right, guys, so we are about to go down the hill. I am super scared, cause it's, it's a big drop down there. All right, buddy. All right. There's, all right, ready? There's right, Nobby in. in the back in the distance. All right. So I'm getting in now. Oh God, sorry guys. It's just, it's a, yeah. it's a really sunny day. Uh, my name is Nobby. So and he's gonna be a new part of the channel. Okay. My phone, Nobby. Okay. So we're about to go. All right, start pushing. All right. I'm really scared. Let's try my phone, Nobby. Like. Uh, 